you know, he's my hero. I'm, I'm, I'm unabashedly going to say he's my hero. I think he's, I think he's arguably the one of the greatest humans to walk on the planet. I'm, I'm, I'm on a, you know, anybody who disagrees with me, all right, give me somebody else who's made more lives better. Right. And, and, you know, I, I think that's a, it's really hard to come up with an answer that, you know, you can get to Jesus Christ and Gandhi. And if, if that's your list and he's in that list, I'm okay with it. Was there a moment where it went from just knowing who he was to like, yes. Yes. Explain. December 21, 2015, they landed the first orbital rocket booster. The first Falcon 9 landed. Uh, I think it should be a global holiday. People don't appreciate how important that moment was. Um, the ability to reuse rocket boosters and eventually the second reuse the second stage, which they're working on, which they're working on now, dramatically lowers the cost of going to space. And it takes, I guess I would say it this way, it's probably the biggest moment in history of turning science fiction into reality. He's not really that good of a speaker. He stutters. I edit videos. Like I make videos with him speaking in them and I have to edit out so many uhs and stutters and ahs and, you know, pauses. He's, he's honestly, he's not a very good speaker. He's got a great attitude. He, you know, I, I mean, like, I don't know. Is he, is he particularly handsome? I don't, I like, I love the guy, right? Don't get me wrong. I, I guess I would say this, the best heroes have flaws and he has flaws. If, if he was perfect, it wouldn't be as fun to watch.